Sally YouTube. Um, so the other day I was, I don't know, browsing on my phone and I came across, um, what's it called? Yeah, my buying plan. You know, at the kind of beginning ish of the year, I posted a video about my 2020 buying plan. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember I specifically wrote my buying plan on my phone just because I wanted to refer to something when I wanted to buy, well, anything. Kind of forgot about this. <laughs> and the other day I was browsing my phone and, you know, came upon this and I read uh, the first goals and I, I just laugh because... <laughs> I'm so far away from my goals. It's bad. I stopped because I wanted to read them on camera and just so you could see my reaction. But before that, as you can hear by my herbal accent, I'm French. And today um, we are going to talk about how my generous collection became even more generous and how I didn't even think about my well my rules for my um spending makeup spending this year so first for face cream also it's written on my phone so i'm gonna look down um first we had face creams i said that i had nine i was on a no buy unless it's on sale oh unless it's on sale Okay, so I guess my clinic uh, fit whatever face cream is okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Toners. I had three. I was on a non buy. I didn't buy any. Serums. Three. I had three. I was on a no buy. I totally bought serums. Um. Yeah, I, I think I have more than three serums oh i don't know now let me check okay i have more than three serums and i was on the no buy damn then for scrubs i had one no hmm. i think i had one face scrub and I said that I would buy one when it's finished, but I know that I found a new face scrub, so yeah, I had my favorite Kiko face scrub, and I said that when it was done, I would buy another one, but it has been discontinued, so <laughs> I can't buy it, but I bought two uh, when it when it finished, actually, and when the summer series rolled around, I bought two because... I bought, I bought them from Sephora and they were also discontinued, I believe, so I bought two. And I had two body scrubs and I said that I wanted to buy them when it was on sale. But, you know, coronavirus and the sales weren't as it was supposed to be. So I didn't buy any and I believe I stayed home. I stayed home anyway. So didn't buy my body scrub. But last Saturday I went to the mall with a friend. I didn't buy anything until I came across rituals and I have thought about them for a long time for the rituals of Ayurveda. I totally bought the body scrub. <laughs> but that's the only thing. It wasn't on sale. I thought with that with Black Friday, it would be on sale. It totally wasn't. Perfume. Perfume, perfume. No. First, a face mask. I wasn't a no buy. I didn't buy any. Obviously, I don't like them. Face wash. I was on a no buy because I said that I had enough. I kind of respected that, I just, I had to buy a new one because the one that was left just was drying my skin out, so 
for me i respected that I, I i wasn't planning on buying a new one because i mean i still had a brand new face wash i, I just i had to i just i had to and then we had perfume i had 19 most of them were perfume samples and i was on a no buy um have i broken this rule i asked for my mom now i asked my mom for perfume because it was so good the sea fury by giorgio armani oh lord well when i was at sephora with my friend saturday uh, afternoon i i made her smell it yeah i made her smell it and she fell in love too so it's a good one still haven't opened it because i'm trying to finish another one but okay i'm not in the middle of the frame yuki yuki then 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 uh, next let's talk about makeup first we have face primers i had three and i only wanted to buy replacement um i kind of had to buy i think well i didn't buy it okay i still have to buy a mattifying primer but i got a few samples so i didn't buy any but for the smoothing primer i i mean i bought two so kind of this don't respect that rule then we have <laughs> okay then we have foundation oh lord i had 50 which is which is already a lot and i said that i could buy one if i finished three full sizes i haven't finished any full sizes and I, I i mean i at least bought like 10 Pfft. you know what summer sales screwed me up pretty badly that's what happened because it's when i bought the majority of my new foundations and most of them are still closed <laughs> so um um foundations foundation it's it's hard for me i don't know why and i'm not finishing any god then we have concealers um i had 19 and i wasn't know why and i think i bought at least like four well i bought six about six <laughs> and i was on in a buy but i know that i found the maybelline edge rewind and i've been tracking this concealer for at least two years so i when i found it i bought it real fast i bought it at least like mm, november at least like four months uh, four months ago i think yeah at least four months ago and i haven't seen my colors since so uh, i think it's a good move good move on my part uh the other one were not needed <laughs> uh powders i had 16 i was on a no buy oh no uh it's pretty bad i think i bought two contour bronzers i had 30 oh no why do i have so many no buys oh lord oh it's bad okay so contour and bronzer i had 13 I was on a no buy again. I, I think I have like four more contour slash um, bronzer products. I know that I I have at least like four new ones because for me a product is a pan. So I have four new ones because I bought the face palettes from what's her name again i don't remember it was the palette from makeup revolution and tammy so i got four new ones and 
Well, so it means that I have more than four new ones. Oh lord. Oh no. Oh. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Then uh, we have blushes. I wasn't a nobody. I had 34. I. Until. Until September. If we forgot again about the face palettes, because obviously they come with the face palettes, I was good on the blushes until September. And then I got a milk mini blush, cream blush. I, I just wanted a cream blush, okay? But I know I bought one from Lani with the Black Friday on Beauty Bay. Listen, Beauty Bay, oh lord. Beauty Bay is going is coming for my money real hard. Real, real hard. So <laughs> next year is going to be pretty bad. Oh. Then we have highlighters. I had 28 and I wasn't no buy. Obviously, I got two more with the face palettes again. But I think I think I bought two more. What am I doing? I need to respect my rules. Okay. Um, eye primers. I had seven. I was on no buy. I didn't buy any. So I think that's... <laughs> it's only the second category that I respected my rules. Oh no. And how many categories have we gone through already? 1, 2, 3, 4, 14, 15. Oh my god, 2 out of 15. Anyway, then we have loose eyeshadows. And I had 53. <laughs> what is this rule? And I could buy. I could buy three if I really, really wanted it. Oh my God. What? What are these rules? And I, I know that I really, really, really thought about them before writing them. Oh my God. I totally exploded these rules. I mean, I got... E these yesterday two days ago two days ago so that's uh that's at least six i mean you know you know black friday black friday <sighs> you know when black friday started i was like Take my money because you know I was waiting for Black Friday all year, all year. So when Black Friday finally came, I know, I knew, I knew that I would buy a lot, and that's exactly what I did. <laughs> then we have pressed eyeshadows. Here I mixed the. Magnetic shadows and the individually packaged packaged shadows. I think that's how you say it. And I had 127. And I said that I could buy 10 if I really wanted it. And I think I bought like at least 30. Only on Black Friday. It's not really an excuse. <laughs> then eyeshadow palettes. I had 39. I was on a no buy. Didn't buy any, which is finally it's the third one. Then I have where are we? I can't read mascaras. I had ten. I was on a no buy. I didn't buy any. I got some. I got two. I think. Um, I got one mini mini sample size of the Fenty mascara. Garbage on my eyelashes. And I got a mini Kush one. Haven't tried that. Uh, haven't tried that yet. But I don't have much hope. 
because I have garbage lashes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think I think I didn't buy any mascaras, but well, I didn't have any reason to buy any because well, because I have way too many. So yeah, that that's four rules. <laughs> uh okay. Then we have Mm, eyebrow products. I had 14. I was on a no buy except if I finished an eyebrow pencil. Well, I've changed my mind. I haven't I haven't bought any. But I think that even if I'm Oh, I remember. I said that I could buy one if I finished a pencil because I wanted to keep a pencil for the days that I was really you know I didn't have time I wouldn't have time yeah for that is for the days where I wouldn't have time to do my brows because if I have one thing to do before I'm going out it's my brows I don't care for the rest of this but my brows it's important I could go out with without my brows on but for me that's the minimum um, but I think I, I would be okay without a brow pencil. I think so. Um, but I didn't buy any. Pretty sure I didn't buy any. Then we have crayon eyeliners. I had 14. I was on a no buy. I didn't buy any, but I got two, two or three. I got one Makeup For Everyone and I got one Sephora one. Yeah, so I got two. I don't think I got three. I got two. I didn't buy them, so... You can see that I have respected that. I got them for free. So... <laughs> oh, then we have liquid eyeliners. Um, I had 11. I was on a no buy. Okay, I was on a no buy. I haven't bought any. I didn't get any. So that's six. Okay, cream shadows. I was on a no buy. I didn't buy any, I think. So that's seven. Glitters, 15. If it was exceptional and crazy and whatever whatever i could buy one but i didn't buy any i almost bought i almost i almost bought um pressed glitters because i want to try them everyone is hating on them but you know i haven't tried any so i wanted to try one oh makes me remember um about liquid eyeliners in my liquid eyeliner i have my glitter eyeliners because they are eyeliners for me i almost bought the, the urban decay heavy metal eyeliners in like a lot of shade <laughs> in for the summer sales they were on heavy heavy sales i think that's how i say it listen I wanted at least like five of them. I just didn't buy them because four out of five were sold out. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have bought like just one, but that's that's the only reason. So I almost broke that rule. Uh, I think we were at what eight. Um, glitters. No, with glitters, I think it's nine. Then we have lip balm. I had four. I could only buy them if it was a replacement. I think I still have three and my lips and dry at all. So I don't need a lot of lip balm. Um, so I didn't break that rule. I almost did a lot of times, many, many times. But I was like, listen, you have three lip balms at home. Don't buy any more. So that's uh, like 10, I think. Um, then we have lip scrubs. I said that I could buy one if I miss it. 
and I don't miss it at all. Again, I don't have dry lips at all, so they don't ever get crusty. Then we have lip liners. I was I had 20, I was on a low buy. I kind of broke it because I bought a kit from again the collection with Makeup Revolution and Tammy and a brought a, a brought a brown lip liner was included in the kit. I just wanted the lip glosses. The lip liner was part of the kit, so I guess I got it. It was trash. Trash, trash. It kept breaking. It just, it wasn't good. I mean, I think I tossed it. But apart from that, I don't think I bought any. Um, then we have liquid lipstick. I had 45. And, oh, I could buy none until September. Until September. Two if I really wanted it. Um, I bought four. Yes, I bought four. I bought the kit from Too Faced, the Christmas kit. So that's four. I, as I said in my, I think it's in my big declutter. One is for a friend because it's really it's too light for my skin tone, so I can't use it. So let's say three. Let's say three. Not that. That didn't broke my rule book. Then we have bullet lipstick. I couldn't buy, I had 82, sorry, and I couldn't buy any until July. And from July to till the end of the year, I could buy three. Uh huh. Maybe I didn't broke that rule. I know I bought the one from Huda. Let's go to the lip product. Yes, I didn't broke that rule. I bought two. So, okay. I guess that's 11. Lip glosses. <laughs> I said I had 29. I said that I could buy one if I had 25. I never got to 25. And I bought at least like four lip glosses, I think. So that's it for makeup. So now um, we're going to talk about nail polishes. And um, for base coats, I had two. Um, I think a transparent one and a beige one. And I said that I could buy one if the BB one was bothering me. But I, um, I had fake nails most of the year so i didn't really use my um my nail polish bases so i still have the two that i was talking about so i guess i didn't buy any so that's 12. for nail polishes i had 129. i was on a no buy um except for Hollow taco. I didn't buy. Yes, I bought. No, I bought one. I think I bought one nail polish. I almost bought from Hollow taco with the Black Friday. They had 20% off the whole website. I was so ready to buy from them. But when I saw the amount of money in my card I couldn't pull the trigger so I didn't buy from Hola Taco maybe next year we'll see and finally I was talking about my nail polish top coats I had four normal ones four glitter ones and one matte top coat for the normal for the normal top coat I was on a no buy I didn't buy any I for the glitters um top coats i said i could buy hollow top coats didn't buy any and what have i written oh yeah and i said that i could buy a matte top coat if i could find a better one and i didn't even try to find one so i didn't buy any and i don't think this year i even used my matte my matte top coat so, 
that's 12? No, I think I said 12. 13? Let's recount. Okay, so I respected 16 rules out of 36. So I broke a little bit more than half of my rules. I thought I kept like one rule alive, but I guess not. <laughs> so I guess I'm pretty proud of myself. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be at all. But you know, um, I think, I think, I think even though I completely, completely failed at my buying plan, I think it still served its purpose. I mean, I didn't buy as much. Although when I bought, I bought more, I think. <laughs> but I didn't buy as much. I didn't buy as often. So, in the end, I think I bought less. I mean, I had to. I, I'm pretty sure I bought less than, like, the years before. So, I'm still, I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm still thinking about my plan for next year. I think I want to go on the low buy, but I, <laughs> I still don't know if I want to do no buy on specific categories. Um, if I want to do like a monetary low buy, is it how you say it? Um, or I don't know which way I could do that. So yeah, next year a low buy is also on its way because I need to control at least a little bit my spendings. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, <laughs> uh, I I think I was a little bit delusional when I um, when I wrote these goals. But still, I think it was it was a good experience for myself and my wallet. <laughs> so, did you reach your goal this year? I mean, I know it was a hard year for everyone because of, you know, Corona. Um, and a lot of people bought more than they were anticipating. So, did you reach your goal? Did you not? Did you completely explode your budget? Did you go a lot lower than your budget? I mean, tell me. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.